What's up, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking the Specimen Ridge slash Agate Creek Trail slash Yellowstone River Picnic Area Trail in Yellowstone National Park near the Tower Canyon area. What I did today was I started at the Specimen Ridge Trailhead, hiked up to the junction of the, that one, and then went all the way up Specimen Ridge to Agate Creek, and then worked my way down there. Then I went down to the Yellowstone River Picnic Trail, and uh, coming out right now. But uh, yeah, it's a great trip and I started out, um, and I've got a confession to make, and that is I love big sagebrush meadows. Sagebrush meadows are amazing and they are beautiful and I just love the, all the birds and just the views that you get. And this one is definitely no exception. And I worked my way up um, and they, if you come to the junction with the Yellowstone River Trail after a little over a mile, um, and then from there, it gets really, really steep <laughs> to get up to Specimen Ridge. So if you're okay with steep, then um, you'll be okay with this. But it is definitely steep and kind of sketchy. But once you're up on top of Specimen Ridge, it is super, super fantastic. And um, yeah, I was just hiking there this morning and just looking around and um, I got to see, eventually I got to see a, a bison or two and just, yeah, really cool as you just kind of, you never know what you're going to come around and see. You know, you're, you'll be hiking along and you just come over another ridge and, and there's another watering hole and then there's some pronghorn or you'll see some more bison. And uh, one of the really cool things about this is obviously since it's a national park and you can't collect sheds, um, which are elk antler sheds, which they shed every spring, um, they're everywhere up here. This must be the place to be. I counted at least 13 of them just off the cuff and then there's a huge pile over here at this watering hole um, but anyways but you traverse to get to agate creek um, after the junction of the trail and you you'll you'll just kind of work across specimen ridge lower than if you did the specimen ridge higher but then you'll uh you start to come down to these trees and then speaking of steep earlier it's steep again holy cow this thing is just steep all the way down and um, there's a certain level of steepness that makes both going up and going down a pain and this is definitely one of those times um, and it kind of alternates between uh you know trees and then it kind of opens up a little bit and you you know you're starting to get closer and closer to the yellowstone river and um, eventually you come to a campsite and then just a little bit further you get down to the uh, where agate creek dumps into the yellowstone river and that is um, definitely a pretty spot and i'm not exactly sure if it's worth the um, all the effort to get to that um, but anyways but i ended up coming back up to the top to specimen ridge and you know saw more pronghorn and saw the big huge herd of bison that i saw on the way in they were a little bit more up and moving around there was a big storm closing in so I was trying to hustle and um, and it eventually just missed me to the east which was great um, but on my way out right after I got back to the junction of the where the Agate Creek Trail breaks off um, I saw this pronghorn hanging out and I, I, I just wanted to look and see if there was a way I could peer into the um, I guess it's kind of the Lamar River area and um, if you look up to your left as you're hiking up towards the Agate Creek Junction, um, there's a big clump of trees and just past that is an amazing overlook and that thing is fantastic. I just stood there and was just, I had my binoculars out and I was just looking all over the place and there are petrified trees on Specimen Ridge that you cannot see from the Specimen Ridge Trail and I think that I actually saw them to the east. Um, I'm gonna have to kind of verify that whether or not I actually was seeing them. So um, I'll try and figure that out and you know, we'll do that. But anyways, um, from there, I draw back down the super steep section to the junction with uh, the Specimen Ridge Trail and the uh, Yellowstone River Picnic Trail. And at first I was a little bit bummed because looking at the Yellowstone River was so obstructed, but that was unwarranted because just a few more steps and I was able to get really great views. And this, this trail stays really true to looking down on the Yellowstone River, which is fantastic. And the, it's just such a cool section. You start off with some, you know, kind of geothermal sorts of features looking upstream there. And then you get to the tower area, and I think that's why they call it the tower area. I'll have to check on that, but because of all these spires. These spires, and sometimes they look like a box of crayons. They are the coolest thing. <laughs> they are just, just this great geologic feature. And then um, on, on the driving, if you're driving in the tower area, you get to see some of those um, 
I think they're basalt towers. Um, and you actually get to see them up close on this side as well. And um, yeah, it's just really cool just looking at all the different features. And like I said, the trail stays true to the, to the river. So you're constantly looking down and every turn in the river, it changes. So right past those towers, then you get into this really good geothermal. You can see some steam vents and you can see the yellowness of the rock and the white rock. And then, then past that, um, you get more into the trees, but you're still walking in the sagebrush. So there's still great views apart from the river. So, I mean, I really, really like this trail. If you just come down to the Yellowstone picnic area, just, just hike up to this and then hike back at least. Um, but anyways, but past that, you get to see some more just cool, like just changes in the rock formation. So um, anyways, from there, you know, you just kind of drop down in the trees and end up at the Yellowstone uh, River picnic area. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk the road or hitch a ride. I don't know, one of the two back to my car. I think it's like almost three quarters of a mile back to my car from there. But anyways, super, super great. Um, I highly recommend Specimen Ridge, even though that's a little steep spot. Definitely check out that overlook. Agate Creek Trail, I don't know. I could probably go or not go with that one. Um, the Yellowstone River Picnic Trail, absolutely you should do it. It's not very long. It's like two miles to the junction, two miles back, or just loop that with a Specimen Ridge, just that first part of it. So anyways, sorry it's long, but there's a lot of goodness. This is Jake with Hike 734 doing Specimen Ridge, Agate Creek Trail, and the Yellowstone River picnic area near the tower area area in Yellowstone National Park. One last little note as I walk along the road back to my car is that I followed the ridge line all the way out for the Yellowstone River picnic area. Instead of dropping down, there's a trail, the pretty obvious trail to the right. The one, if you follow the ridge line all the way out, it's a steep trail. If you follow the other trail down, it's much more gradual, but you miss a little bit of ridge line. So up to you to figure that out. Anyways, I'm Jake with Hike 734. If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.